Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, Gig and I are here in Merlin's castle to celebrate his birthday. We told the number one not to use so much helium in the balloons though. As you can see, he did not listen. For Merlin's birthday, the number one was going to teach him how to multiply fractions, but I think it may not happen until we can get him down. Teaching how to multiply fractions for a birthday present? That's boring. Anyway, go ahead and learn how to multiply fractions and maybe the number one will be down by then. Merlin, you have tons of magic but you can't get me down? Come on! Today, we're going to multiply fractions. Our problem is 1 fifth times 3 sevenths. To multiply fractions using the standard algorithm, we multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together. So we can write the problem like this. Let's see. 1 times 3 is 3, and 5 times 7 is 35. So 1 fifth times 3 seventh equals 3 30 fifths. Great job! What about a problem like this? Multiply. Please simplify your answer. 1 tenth times 2 thirds. We can find the product by multiplying straight across like our last problem. 1 times 2 is 2 and 10 times 3 is 30, so we get 2 thirtieths. However, we need to simplify the fraction because both the numerator and denominator are even numbers. Their greatest common factor is 2, meaning we can rewrite the numerator and denominator in factored form with 2 as a factor. The numerator is 2 times 1, and the denominator is 2 times 15. We can cross out the factors of 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1, so the result is 1 15th. This is in simplified form because there's no more common factors, other than 1, between the two numbers. Ready for a tough problem? A rectangle has a side length of one half inch by two thirds inch. The area of the rectangle is blank inches squared. Let's start by drawing a rectangle that is one inch by one inch. Hey, that's also a square. Next, let's represent one half inch by dividing one side into two equal parts and shading half. Now we want to show two-thirds by partitioning the rectangle along the other side into thirds and shading two of the three long skinny rectangles. The overlapping shaded region is the answer to our problem. How many smaller rectangles are shaded green? There are two out of six smaller rectangles that are shaded green. Therefore, one half times two thirds equals two sixth. But two sixths is a fraction that can be simplified. Notice how we can rearrange the two green pieces? Now they represent one third of the whole. That's a visual way to show simplification. But let's use our arithmetic to simplify the fraction like we did in the last problem. We could multiply the two fractions by multiplying straight across. The numerators 1 times 2 and the denominators 2 times 3 still gives us that 2 sixth. However, we can cross out the common factor of 2 that is in the numerator and denominator. The result is 1 third. The area of the rectangle is 1 third inches squared. Isn't it cool to get the answer in more than one way?
Merlin did get the number one down. <laughs> he turned him into a baby dragon. <laughs> Well, I guess if Merlin decides to change him back, we can go home. Maybe next time the number one will have a better birthday gift than teaching how to multiply fractions. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.